And before moving to CBS, our Nate Burleson worked with Chesley side by side in New York. And Nate, this morning, you said, check on your strong friends. You could definitely count her among your strong friends. Did you have any idea, any? I didn't. I was trying to look back on the times that we spent together and point out a clue or a hint um, that she was dealing with anything. And I, and I, I couldn't pinpoint one thing, um, but then I started to think she was always, always on. That there wasn't a dimmer with Chesley. She, she, she was always bright and bubbly, huge smile on her face. I, I said it. She, she was sunshine personified, um, and this, it, it caught me off guard and it, it floored me, and I, I couldn't believe it, and I still can't. She was, she was like a sister to me. Teamwork. Teamwork see, makes the dream work. See, Boom, bam, bing. Every day. In retrospect, do you think that sunshine was in some way a burden to carry? I do. And maybe the, the weight was a little too heavy for her. Um, and, and the reason I said, check on your strong friends, one, because she was a strong woman. So you almost hesitate to ask somebody like that if something's wrong. Right. And I think we can all take, take that away from this unfortunate tragedy that those that may seem happy on the surface could be struggling. And I, I really think that um, this is eye-opening for a lot of us. And we are joined by Gail King now, whom Chesley considered a mentor. And Gail, I mean, when you met Chesley for the first time, you asked for her number. What energy were you picking up? I did, Billy. You know, she walked into the studio and I don't often do that, to be honest with you, but there was something about her. You know, she, there is a real there there to Chesley. She was not just a pretty girl with a microphone. She was smart, she was sparkly, she was um, nice, very kind, and I just, I wanted to get to know her. So I did, I asked, could I have your number so we could stay in touch? And she was like, sure. And I have stayed in touch with her ever since, ever since that day I met her. She reached out to me asking about the business uh, we would talk about the business, we would talk about dating, we would talk about work. Anytime you saw Chesley on the red carpet, I went straight to her. Are you liking it? I love it, it's oh, been you're amazing. Doing a really good job. I've been up since 1.09 this morning. That's what I could, I could not sleep. I could not sleep. What is the hardest part for you to process? What still plays really, in your mind? The reason why we didn't pick up on the signs is because there were no friggin' signs. Everybody who knew Chesley, and even people who didn't know Chesley are just feel blindsided by this. And it hurts, it hurts a lot. And speaking of checking in with your strong friends, Rach, how are you? I think the, the word that I feel the most is very unsettled. And as I got to know her, you know, outside of what you see i just i couldn't get over just like how she was always there for you um and then it just makes you think like was were you there enough right. for her she was a kindred a kindred spirit for you right? she was inspiring to me like i respected her she and i went to dinner and we talked for hours about everything my book was just being finished she was still working on her book we talked about that we talked about different struggles talked about being the strong black woman. And I think it's like conversations. I think about that and I'm like, should I have pushed? And I've just like asked her a little bit more when it came to that. The sky was the limit for her. And I just, I can't believe she's gone. She was just the kind of person that you always wanted to be around. I mean, despite having this intimidating resume, beauty queen, lawyer, TV personality, somehow she made you feel like you were the special one always smiling, had the funniest sense of humor, and just saw the good in things. She was just a special, special person. And Chesley loved fashion. She and our Adam Glassman were planning our coverage of Fashion Week in New York for next week. Adam, I don't know where to begin with you because she just loved being with you and you always. with her, but what, what's on the top of your mind? Battered, actually, and I don't even know how to sort of pick myself up today. I've been going through all of the pictures of us together. We did 
so many red carpets. Her first Oscars for Extra, I was there with her. Seriously, the headpiece was probably one of my favorite parts of the look. Oh, I mean, if anyone knows a tiara, though, my friend, Indeed it's I do. you. <laughs> we did the Met Ball back in September. She was always prepared. The most professional I've ever met, truly. Thank you for watching. If you want more extra, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you'll never miss a video.